Hey guys, it's Andrew Beach, Executive Career Coach. I help professionals communicate their value to find great new jobs faster. Today, I had a question this morning after I, I just got back from a walk, workout with, went on a walk in the park with my wife. And uh, I just wanted to sit down and make this quick tutorial on LinkedIn to help folks find connections of people that are at maybe a target company. So this week, I'm gonna show you how to use LinkedIn search to find connections of people. Now, this is a new search feature that LinkedIn has added in the last couple of months. So this might be new to some of you, but I have a meeting and I typically do my planning for the next week over the weekend. So Saturday and Sunday, I'll sit down, look at my calendar, see who I'm meeting this week and see who they might be able to introduce me to. So here's how it works. Uh, we go into LinkedIn and we'll just type in, say a company name. In this case, there's a credit union uh, near me that uh, I'm very interested in. They have a, um, a new location opening here. Uh, they're opening a new headquarters, at least in, in Oregon. And I'm very interested in connecting with people at this company. You can see on their page here, First Tech Credit Union has uh, over a thousand employees here on LinkedIn. And so this is one of my target companies. So I will go ahead and see uh, all employees of this company on LinkedIn. So as one of my target companies, I'm going to narrow this down to first degree, second degree, and third degree connections. So third degree is just total strangers. Second degree is friends of friends. And first degree is, of course, the people that I'm connected to that already work there. So you can see I already have a series of results. And the person I'm meeting this week is Scott Picard. So I'm going to go ahead and unclick first degree connections. And I'm going to stick with the second degree connections. Now, you can always add some keywords, and, and I'll go ahead and do that. I'm very interested in meeting people in marketing. So uh, I'm gonna, actually I'll go and do that as a keyword in the search box, marketing. Uh, okay, and so now I have second degree connections at First Tech Credit Union that are in marketing and I get 56 results. Now, the, the nice thing here is over on the right, when you do your filtering, you'll see a, a section here that says connections of. The connections of box is gold. So what I would do is I would put um, Scott's name in here because he and I are meeting this week. And you can see there's zero, but you get the idea. Now I can filter down that 56 connections and maybe I just say uh, instead of marketing, uh, maybe management. Uh, there we go. Okay, now I'm getting three people that Scott, who I'm meeting this week, is connected to that I don't know that are at a target company that uh, he could potentially introduce me to. What I'm going to want to see is if any of these people going through and looking at each one of these profile three is manageable. If you had more than that, it would probably be a challenge. So you want to put more keywords in. In this case, I had to put a different keyword in to get a number of people to actually meet. And so I would suggest actually going through each of these profiles to see uh, what the overlap is in your levels, in your areas of interest, in your skill sets. Um, so that you can have a tangible conversation with people in a position to hire you. Now, if I look at this list, I'm looking also then for hiring managers. And so um, I can see that some of these folks really are, are uh, line person people that may or may not be hiring managers, uh, except for this one person here, Lauren. And so perhaps what I might do is I might uh, target uh, Lauren, even though I'm not going to say that when I meet Scott, I'd be a little stalkery, um, but I'm going to go ahead and do what I can to meet Lauren uh, just based on his avatar, meaning things that he's interested in or areas of expertise that he has that I can explain to Scott. And Scott will say, huh, wow, I think you're very similar to Lauren, who's my boss. And um, that's a great way to kind of go about this process of networking. So uh, really the components you need is a target company and a person. That's it. Now, you can, you can sometimes find that connective person to a company through the second degree connections after you just search for employees. So I'll actually go back here, and this might actually be a, a useful process, is to look at all the employees here at First Tech, and you get a thousand results, okay? So now I'm just saying, okay, well, show me all the second degree connections. And this is useful because now I can see there's nine shared, 27 shared, 27 shared. So the, I'm going to go with the one probably that has the most shared connections because, um, you know, so let's say let's this one. Okay. And I can see there's a series of people that connect me in there that all appear to be um, similar. 
So I might be able to pick, um, I, what I'm going to do here looking at my second degree connections is find somebody that I have the strongest relationship with that uh, I could easily meet um, over a coffee or a lunch and then uh, do what I can to um, connect to the right people at my target company. So anyway, that's uh, uh, LinkedIn, uh, how to search connections of connections. Thanks for tuning in. It's Andrew Beach, Executive Coach, and happy networking.